Hey friends, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Cricut machines. I have two of them and the differences between them. I'm gonna be showing you guys some fun projects that you can do. I love using the Cricut to help organize my home, to make specialized gifts that are personal. I love the, just the unlimited creativeness that I can do with the Cricut machine. And I think you guys will enjoy today's video. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's jump right into it. I knew I wanted to create a custom stencil for this project and this pine dresser was going to be the perfect canvas for this type of look that I'm going for. But first I needed to get some primer on there. I cleaned it first. I got some primer on and I'm going in with this Valspar. This is a semi-gloss paint. It has a nice sheen to it. And so when I paint it on there and then I use, I'm actually using vinyl instead of a stencil uh, for cutting my stencil but you could certainly use the stencil material that Cricut makes and I'm using the larger Explore 3 to make my large stencil so this is where it comes into play where you're going okay do I want the larger like Explore 3 or do I want to go with a smaller Joy Extra and for me on this project and on all my furniture projects the Explore 3 is definitely better because you can make a larger stencil for instance you can make 12 feet long by 11.7 inches wide for the Explore 3. For the Joy Extra, you can make 8.5 inches wide by 4 feet long. So by no means is it tiny uh, or anything, but just, you know, dealing with a large surface like a dresser, I wanted to be able to create something that's like a foot wide, basically. And you could, I didn't need the length of 12 feet long, but you know, certainly something to think about in the future. One of my favorite things about creating a stencil is the difference in sheen that you can get by uh, using a semi-gloss, for instance. I love to use a semi-gloss for the base, now that I've done a few of these. And then I use a more matte sheen for the stencil itself. So you're gonna see, I'll mix it with matte poly and I use like a flat sheen paint. And so then when you look at it from a distance, you're getting those two sheens going on and that further helps disguise and camouflage any of the dents and dings that are existing in the soft pine wood or will happen as time goes on. Because we know, you know, pine wood is just really soft. And so generally you, you know, when you do a painted finish on it, it can be, um, after time, you know, if you, especially in a kid's room or something over time, you're going to see a lot of dents and dings in it. And so this is a great way to camouflage that. And I love it so much to create the custom stencil. You'll go into design space and set up your particular Cricut cutting machine and they make it all very user friendly. It's very easy to understand clickety click and you're there. This is the Cricut Explore 3 that I like so much. And I can make, like I said, this really wide, 11.7 inches wide stencil. And I did it in this cute little, I don't know, like an animal print, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I'm going to go on here with a matte sheen. It's a mix of a matte paint and then matte poly. And like I said, I'm going for that difference in sheen when I do the stencil. And then the cool thing, I did go ahead and weed this before I pulled this off. But actually one of the cool things about um, this smart material is a lot of times you can just peel it off the smart vinyl and you don't have to do all that weeding. So, you know, save yourself a little bit of time and you can just peel it right off. This has definitely been one of my by far like favorite furniture projects I've ever done. I love it so much and I hope you guys will give this a try. It's just a really fun finish and it, especially imagine it in some fun space, you know, like a nursery or a playroom or, you know, somebody who's got that funky style. I just... Oh, I love that so much. Usually I'm, I'm a neutral girl and I'm not venturing out too much as far as my decor goes, but I love to think uh, of new ideas and maybe I'll get a little bit braver here in the new year. My mixture of paint and poly was about half and half. You can see it's a bit sheer, but that is actually intentional. I wanted this to just 
you know, seamlessly uh, coordinate, I guess. And, and in some ways with it being the base of the green and the tan on top, it, it does coordinate really well and the colors um, really complement each other and kind of pull from each other. And that's all you need, right? You can see it's kind of sheer. Let's peel it off here and see how it's looking. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so, it's so cute. These are so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. This is so, guys, I'm so excited right now. I did. Let's go on for another. Oh no, so I'm just gonna go on there. So you can see it would have been beneficial for me to cut out a longer stencil here for this specific project but I definitely needed that width that the Explore 3 gave me and then next time I'm definitely going to go with a longer stencil. So that is what I will probably be doing in the future is using the Explore 3 to cut something that is about twice as long. I definitely needed that width and I think I need that length as well to make my project go quicker and smoother and I don't have to worry about matching up all these little dots and stuff. So you know you can see how having that width and the length that the Explore 3 gives you versus the smaller Joy Extra is really helpful which you know that's a benefit too of having the Cricut is because typically when you buy these furniture stencils off of Etsy or whatnot they are actually not very long and so that is why I made it this way because I was just kind of going by what I had seen online for sale and stuff but this project would have gone a lot quicker and it would have been easier on me trying to blend all those um sections if I had just made a larger stencil and so that is a huge benefit and the cool thing too is it is reusable you can reuse this stencil I would say up to like five times uh, like five dressers no joke you could it, the stickiness stays there especially if you store it properly because the paint is only going on the outside and so they are definitely reusable, but the Cricut materials, the smart materials, they're not that expensive. And so, you know, just buying a new one is probably a, what I will do, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'll probably just trash it after one use and then make another one for the next time. But it does save your design and design space. And so you can go in there and reuse that same design. And even though it's a different dresser, you know, cut it out and then... Get okay, started. let's take a quick look at the before of my nice little pine dresser and the after. How cute. <laughs> How cute is that, right? I just love it. It's so adorable. I did these brass handles on there and it turned out just so, so cute. I did like this little kind of grass cloth um, runner on the top and styled it up love it so much this is one of my favorite projects I've ever done with the Cricut I really really like this a lot all right let's move into our next project which is this hot cocoa bar sign I thrifted this old Ray Dunn and I think it said something about home sweet home on it and I just painted over top of that writing with a black marker and this project I'm using the Joy Extra, which is the smaller project machine in my mind. And I'm using Smart Vinyl because your girl is always using Smart Vinyl. It's just so much easier than trying to throw it on a mat and all that. But um, I thought it'd be so cute to make a little hot cocoa station for this winter and to hang little um, like mugs from it. And then like, you know, hang it on the wall and then underneath it, you know, to have all the fixings for a cute little hot cocoa uh, station and then be able to do that and like do a movie night or something. So that's why I grabbed this sign. It was like $8 at Goodwill. And I don't know how much it had been at um, Redone, probably like 40 And then I just, you know, cut it out. I used the transfer tape here. And you can see I'm I'm still what I would consider a bit of a beginner with Cricut um, and doing like cutting and, and 
doing all this stuff. So you guys probably have some tips and tricks for me in the <laughs> comments for how to get better at it. But then I thought it'd be so cute to put these little lights on it. Because remember I said it was going to be like go with a movie night type theme. And so I thought this would be so cute to do with my family. And here's the end product. I think it's so cute. I love it so much. And I hope that this comparison video of which machine is best for which projects helps answer some of your questions. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. I'd love to answer them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.